What's up, guys? Welcome back to AI on Crypto. Today, we're going to talk about a big moment for play to earn blockchain gaming because one of the blue chippers, one of the big boy games in the space, has a milestone moment. All of us ship owners from Star Atlas are going to now begin earning off of our ships in their newly released mini game. This is big. Blockchain gaming is coming to change the world. We've all been on this journey together. The journey is just getting started. Star Atlas is one of the most hype games in the space. When they had their token launch a few months back, it was absolutely huge. Their ship sells, the poster sell that they did for early adopters. We have covered every step of the way here on this channel. So, you know, we've got ships we're, and we're going to take part in this mini game, guys. It's going to be outstanding. So what we're going to do on this video is you're going to walk through this process with me. I'm going to take you guys on my first journey trying out this mini game. I've got some ships in my hangar and I'm ready to start earning some Atlas tokens. So we're going to get down and do that here on this video right now. This is AI on Crypto. On this channel, we cover cryptocurrency prices and trends, altcoin gems, all the things on the blockchain to fill our bags to the max, and we stay far away from Rec City. We make daily cryptocurrency content covering NFTs, DeFi, play to earn blockchain gaming, and more. So if you're looking for that kind of content, subscribe and tap that bell so you miss you get all the notifications and don't miss any of our time sensitive videos like our giveaway that we just did with the Neroverse Holiday Nero bot. Congratulations to Mateo Argentino by the way. All right guys, we are getting close to 2022 and I'm amazed to see that we're actually as a community very close to 10,000 subscribers. Very close. And I think that there's a slim chance with our best efforts that we might get to 10,000, but I'm going to need everybody that's new to subscribe, like that video so YouTube spreads it around. And if you really want to go and give that extra effort, man, share it on something like Twitter or YouTube and, you know, what have you. But anyways, get ready, kick back and enjoy because we're talking some Star Atlas. Of course, this is not professional financial advice. Talk to a pro. This stuff can be quite risky. All right. So... For those of you new to the space, Star Atlas is going to be an incredible player-owned metaverse space exploration where you own the ships, you can go and explore new planets, you can stake down mining claims, and you can begin building your own civilization out there in the Star Atlas realm. They're going to have different tiers of difficulty, a tier like a like an easy, a medium, and a high risk. In the high risk zone, that's going to be where the riches are. So if you're going to look for those precious resources, that's going to be the high risk zone. If you take your ship there and your ship gets destroyed, your ship is gone. All that's being worked out, but there's a lot of high stakes when it comes to seeking riches in Star Atlas. But today is the milestone day where the mini game is released. There was an airdrop recently. Everybody who had a ship in their wallet supposedly has gotten gas, uh, food and the various things you need in order to send your ship on its honorary first voyage right guys and believe it or not i've had these ships for a long time um i've been following star atlas since its very beginning i haven't even checked my wallet yet to see if i got the airdrop so let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that we have everything we need to send our ship out for a mis mission here on this video all right, guys, so before I just jump into the game, I want to go ahead and read this Medium article as the announcement for this mini game because I want to make sure I don't do anything incorrectly, and I kind of just want to know what I'm getting into before I go straight into the mini game. All right, join the fleet. Star Atlas launches its inaugural on-chain gameplay experience. Blockchain gaming metaverse on Solana fires up the mainnet with the launch of SCORE the first playable browser game base layer enabling players to earn in-game currency, Atlas. December 16th, 2021 is a historic day for Star Atlas. At the moment of grand expansion into a higher dimension with the creation of its key foundational layer, gameplay, allowing players to fully control and utilize their metaverse assets. 
the new feature accessible under the faction fleet tab on play.staratlas.com creates direct interoperability between the Solana blockchain and the players, allowing for the creation of complex gameplay mechanics, a sophisticated economic system, as well as 2D and 3D interactivity, all completely on chain. This pillar of decentralized metaverse is itself a major evolutionary advancement of the scores of Star Atlas. Its Project Serum powered galactic marketplace released in Q3 of 2021 and is on track to be continuously expanding with the new gameplay modules set out in the public Star Atlas roadmap. It provides those involved in the Star Atlas ecosystem to, to get a taste of how their time and effort spent in game is going to translate to real world earnings through Atlas based rewards and usher in an entirely new self sovereign economic paradigm. Joining the fleet gameplay score. The first gameplay functionality is called Ship Commissions on Remote Expeditions, or SCORE for short, fully accessible via a web browser. Ship to the worldwide Star Atlas community during the shipment season between two waves of the new spaceship NFT drops, and in the spirit of charitable giving, SCORE gives players the ability to enlist their own Star Atlas spaceship NFTs from the galactic marketplace in the fleet of their own faction, MUD, the Oni Consortium, or the Ustor Sector. By picking a side, joining the cause, and volunteering the ships, players are helping their factions secure and expand control over their respective Council of Peace, security zones in deep space, choosing a path of exploration. All right, guys, so as SCORE is a full-fledged blueprint for what is to come, the food, fuel, ammunition, and repair toolkits are themselves NFTs whose supply can be depleted and replenished by purchasing them on the in-game galactic marketplace. So as we can see here, guys, quote from the Star Atlas team, as a gesture in the spirit of giving during Star Atlas shipments, all owners of spaceships who had their ships in their Solana wallets like Phantom, or in my case, it's uh, Solit.io, on Wednesday have received a free supply package of fuel, food, and ammo for each of their ships. The airdrop can be claimed in the inventory section. All right, guys. So I'm really excited and I'm hoping that I see this incredible airdrop in my inventory. So let's head over here to staratlas.com and I'm gonna go into my inventory and see what I have. So I need to connect my wallet real quick. All right, guys, we're in. We've got our wallet connected. You can see my fleet of ships right here, guys. I've got the Pierce X4. I've got two Opal Jets. I've got one Pierce X5. I've got my beautiful Opal Jet Jet. And of course, the beast of my fleet, my crown jewel, the Visus Open. All right, guys, who's getting excited about being on my space crew? Leave a comment below. I'm looking for people. I can't fly all these ships myself. We are going to make a dent into deep space. And you know what? This is not going to be the extent of our fleet. I'm going to continue getting ships. I can see a Calico Guardian in my near future. Believe me. All right, guys. So we've got the ammunition. We've got the food and we've got the fuel. I need to go ahead and claim these airdrops so we can actually experience this incredible game. Guys, if you want to get yourself some Star Atlas ships, all you have to do is go to staratlas.com, check out their marketplace, and you'll see all the incredible ships that are for sale. I'm looking at this Rainbow Ohm, and I just love the design of this ship. It just caught my eye because I kind of see uh, spaceships looking like this. Like in my fantasy, in my mind's eye, when I think about Earth being invaded by space aliens, I see a ship like this, you know, just, it's almost like you scratch your head and you wonder what propels it. It's, it's almost mystic as much as it is scientific. Um, so as far as a crew, this is a small plane, guys. Um, one captain, one crew slot, one co-pilot, one engineer. So four people. It's got all the components. Uh, the marketplace is looking fire, guys. Uh, let's see the Visus Open, which we have here. Uh, so I can have a five-man crew. I am, I'm getting pumped, guys. I'm getting pumped. So the original price was 1500 USDC. Uh, 
So it looks like now everything is being sold in Atlas. So the cheapest is 46,999 Atlas. Okay, so now the cheapest buys this open is $5,169. We're in the green, boys. We're in the green. Man, you can never go wrong with buying early stage metaverse ships directly from the store. It just, you know, not financial advice, guys, but it, it serves me well time and again. So I buy the Visas open for, I believe I paid $1,800. Now, cheapest it goes for $5,100 worth of Atlas tokens. And you know, guys, it don't get no better than blockchain gaming, but you, you got to stay away from the trash games. You got to stick to the good games. All right, guys, let's get to the mini game. Okay, so before we join the faction, so if you want to play to the mini game, you've got to go to play.staratlas.com and then select the faction fleet tab, all right? There you're going to choose a faction. But before I do that, I want to read the fleet briefing. A golden age of space exploration. Since the signing of the peace treaty in 2523, the Council of Peace has been attempting to establish their borders by heavily militarizing their respective security zones and actively colonizing the medium risk zones. To do so, all three factions have launched enlistment campaigns to maximize their forces. We are in a golden age of space exploration where the stakes are high, but the rewards are higher. Take part by aligning with a faction and committing your ships to the cause. Put your forces to work. The council does not take your commitments lightly. They are rewarding your loyalty in Atlas, a universal currency recognized by Star Atlas. As a fleet manager, you will earn rewards for the accumulated time your contributions are productive. Supply your fleets with fuel, food, ammunition, and toolkits to ensure productivity. Embark on a mission. The Council's enlistment requirements are simple. Any assets supplied can be utilized in the broader effort. As the campaign matures, expect more detailed mission requirements and specific requests for certain ship specifications. Okay, guys, so that is the mini game in a nutshell. This is going to be mainly a 2D mini game. I'm not sure how much interaction, but basically we are going to begin strategizing and getting used to the idea that we have to make sure our ships are prepared for the voyage into space because we do want it to be very realistic, right? So you can't just be flying willy-nilly through space with no fuel, no food, no munitions, no repair kits. You know what I'm saying, right? So, um, all right, guys, I'm excited. Let's get ready and let's do this thing. Okay, so now I have enlisted with the mud faction and now it's asking me to do some ship enlistments. All right, so it is reading all of my ships, the Visus Opid, the Pierce X-5, the Pierce X-4, the Opal Jet, and the Opal Jet Jet. This is really, really exciting, guys. Let's see. So I own fuel, I own food, repair, and ammo, so I can enlist the ship. So if you click on this stuff, it'll actually tell you the depletion rate. In other words, how much fuel per day or per hour, how much food and ammo per hour the ship is going to need. So with my Visus open, it's showing me that I can get 69 Atlas tokens each day. Um, at 10 cents per Atlas token, that is $6.90 per day from this ship. That comes out to $2,518 per year. Of course, there are going to be some costs involved with the ammo, food, and fuel. I don't know um, if this rewards takes into account your expenditure or not. But frankly, guys, this is not financial advice. I personally think the Atlas token has tremendous upside. It's well below its all-time highs, and it has a lot of utility. Um, everything that you do in this game is going to require Atlas, so as there becomes more players, the Atlas token, in my opinion, it's going to be pretty valuable. But then again, you know, that's not financial advice. So I just enlisted the Visus open, and look at that. My at I'm beginning to earn Atlas literally by the second, so I guess if I wanted to claim that, I would have to hit Claim Atlas. Eventually, I'm probably going to have to claim some of this stuff because I'm going to have to buy more fuel, food, and ammunition. So it'll be very interesting to see how this is all looked at in the views of, you know, because it's really like a business where you have expenses, and those expenses need to go against your income from a reporting standpoint, right? Because it's not pure profit. So I'm wondering if people are going to have to have LLCs. That's a different topic for a different video. But anyways, 
So I'm beginning to earn Atlas by the second right now. That is super, super cool to look at. So I'm gonna go back now and enlist all of my ships. Okay guys, so now all of my ships are enlisted. My Vise is open, my Pierce X5, my Opal Jet, both of them, my Pierce X4, and my cruiser, my little Ferrari, as I like to call it, my Opal Jet Jet. And of course I do have a really special custom black on black skin for this thing from buying one of the Metaverse posters back in the day. So what I can do now is I can add up all of my daily rewards of the Atlas tokens and see what I'm gonna earn per day. Okay, so as of right now, we are earning 90 Atlas tokens each and every day. At the current price, that comes out to $9 a day. But if the Atlas token were to say go to $2 a day, and this is pure speculation, that's $90 a day, guys. And $90 a day, now you're talking about real life impacting money. Uh, you're talking about $32,000 a year if the Atlas token were to go up to a dollar. What I have done in a lot of ecosystems like Gala Games, Axie Infinity, is when the coin is young, when the price of the coin is very low, I use my money from my main 9 to 5 job to live off of and I don't touch the gaming tokens. And then, if there's a massive pump, you know, there comes a time where you say, alright, you know, I'm gonna cash in, uh, diversify, divest into something else, or I'm going to keep it there, or I'm gonna go on a vacation, you know, whatever. I can see for a lot of people, they keep their regular job, right? Their life doesn't really change a lot from play to earn gaming, but maybe instead of playing World of Warcraft as their hobby, they play Star Atlas or Mirandus or a game like that. And at the end of the year, they could literally take their family to a vacation somewhere from their earnings. It can be like extra fun bonus. So if you go to video games for fun, the play to earn is like the bonus spiff that lets you take like a real world vacation or get you a car or, you know, do something nice for you and your family. I think play to earn is going to give people a lot of flexibility. Not everybody is going to leave their job and become a full time play to earn gamer. I think I'm going to go for that. Nobody in my life thinks it's possible. If I tell anybody about that, they roll their eyes. You know, I can tell. When I show you guys, I know I'm going to hear some comments in the comment section saying, oh man, he's got so many cool ships, or, you know, you look at my Mirandus video and everybody's like, whoa, look at all those NFTs. You guys get it. But 99% of the rest of the world goes in one ear, out the other. I could show them all of my Star Atlas NFTs, my Town Star, my Mirandus NFTs. They would be that impressed, not impressed at all. But guys, I think it's possible if you want to put some skin in the game, and treat this thing like a real business, I am confident that a year from now or less, my entire professional life is gonna be on the blockchain. I'm no longer gonna work for a corporation and I'm going to live off of what I do on blockchain gaming and who knows, maybe the channel gets big and that can help out as well. But that's enough about me. You guys don't come here to learn about me. Um, let's get back to this because I guess we're playing the mini game. So this, this is the mini game. So now my ships are staked. And I believe what I have to do now as a fleet manager is to make sure I don't run out of any of the fuel, food, or ammo. But let's just look around and make sure we're not missing any exciting gameplay. Guys, before we end the video though, since it is a Star Atlas video and there's a lot of cool ships out that uh, I haven't really seen yet, Let's kind of go through some of these ships, okay? So if you're looking to get into Star Atlas and you want to dip your toes, they've got this right here, the Pierce X4. This is a single um, person ship. You could definitely fly around and uh, do things on the surface of planets and probably some surface to orbit action. I don't think it's a deep space vessel but it can be obtained for a mere $17. And of course, the good thing about Solana is there's no gas fees. I mean, you gotta make sure you have a little bit of Solana in your wallet, but the fee is so small. So for $17, you could get a Pierce X4 and get ready to start participating in this ecosystem. All right, the Opal Jet is a similar price point. <clears throat> it's $18.50 right now and it's also single, uh, a single person ship. It's got 
a little bit of shield generation. It's got warp drive, so you can do some space flight. It does have warp drive. It has radar, tractor beam, a two weapon hard point um, arsenal, a maneuvering thruster, and an impulse um, engine. So guys, this is a respectable ship that you can get for 18 bucks, right? So it's not like this game is impossible to get into. All right, so if you want to step your game up just a little bit, this is a two-person ship, a pilot and co-pilot, a Pierce X-5. Uh, Pierce is the manufacturer and X-5 is the model. So there's a, there's a number of different Pierce-style ships in the game. So the Pierce X-5 car is a shapeshifter. It's two-seating, nimble fighter and starship. It has four different primary modes of operation. Attack mode with all weapons pointing forward. Uh, two, a speed mode with all thrusters pointing to the rear. Three, normal mode with weapons and thrusters split. And four, defensive mode with arms retracted and hull plating with the largest coverage. The X-5 car is the stock patrol vessel for the Council of Peace with a pervasive presence throughout secured faction territories in space and on land. Uh, be sure to earn your pilot's license to take this through faction space. Uh, if you want one of these, you are looking at a $140 entry point, okay? Now, the Opal Jet, the Opal Jet Jet, it's also a two-seater, um, but I think it's a little bit more on the high-end side. This is going to cost you $290, almost $300 for this. But still, for a nice, super fire um, cruiser, man, that's, that's, that's a heck of a deal. Now, the next step up from there would be like this Calico Evac. All right, this, you could actually have a decent crew. Uh, this is actually a six-person ship. So that's a decent-sized crew. And these are going for $2,500 right now. Um, they have different decent cargo area as well, so you can move um, materials to and from destinations. That's a very good middle tier entry point so for about twenty five hundred dollars you get that bad boy right there now here's the visus ambwa let's check this one out so this is a smaller craft a one crew plane one crew member plane um but it's slick it really looks nice the visus ambwa is specifically crafted for those long journeys on the trail of your next bounty the small bounty hunting ship has full life support amenities for you and your captures. The Amboy's onboard firepower is enough to make quick work of your cornered target. Visus branded stealth features reduce overall energy output to fly under the radar and execute that surprise attack. These things right now are going for $1,100, so definitely a step up in cost. We already looked at the Visus Open. That's currently going for $5,100. Now, how about this? A Pierce X-6. So this was originally $930 from the store. And it, oh, it's not out yet. So this is a one, two, three, four. This is a five-seater that you're going to be able to get for under $1,000 when this puppy launches. And that's going to be launching in a day, under two days. So this is a great opportunity to get a multi, a, a two-person ship. Now, this is a nice looking ship, guys. The Rainbow Ohm. Originally $2,400 from the store. Let's see what they're going for now. You can get one for $2,700. There's $355 available. Um, you know what? That's a slick looking ship. No, no, no. <laughs> I accidentally almost bought one here. The Rainbow Ohm is the masterpiece starship that emerges when the best human and Photolite designers collaborate to achieve perfection. This comfortable, flexi-roll ship is an enigma of space travel that will ensure you arrive in style after effortlessly covering half the distance of a known sector. So that's a very slick ship, guys, that you can still get for under $3,000 and have a you know five to six man crew. All right, guys, now this is a serious step up. This is originally $30,000 ship. This is a massive cruise ship. One, two, four, seven. Wow, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. A 20 person crew on this ship. So this is a, if you're looking to be a guild captain, if you're looking to, you know, be a team leader and have a lot of people go on space missions with you, this is a great 
um, ship for you. Currently, very, very expensive, guys. There's only one for sale. Oh my goodness, guys. And that is for 56 grand, basically. So 56 grand. There's only one available, Calico Guardian. Super sweet. This is a very cool marketplace, guys. Let's take a look at this Pierce C11. Wow, what a beauty. Originally $80,000 from the team. Currently, you can own one for similar price, uh, $88,000. So it hasn't gone up a lot. Uh, but clearly, that's a very expensive item. A little out of reach for most people, I would think. But heck, you could probably earn a lot of Atlas per day during the minigame. And that's the thing. I see, a, I see a bright future for the Atlas token. So as expensive as this thing is, I'm telling you, in my opinion, if you have the money sitting around, this is not financial advice. I really think it's not a bad buy at all, especially if you can get a ton of Atlas tokens with it. Plus, it's gorgeous. And uh, wow, a massive crew. So you could have so much fun in this game with this ship. But all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I could go on forever Googling with my googly eyes on all these NFT ships. I think I, this, I tell you what, I'll let you guys know. This is the one I've got my eye on right here. I, oh, yes, right here. The Calico Compact Hero. This is the one that I really, really like. Um, woo, $9,000. Only one for sale. Mm, man, I should have got it back when it was 3500 guys. I really should have. I reg I don't make all the right decisions. I could have got this, and I passed on it. Um, wow. Beautiful ship. Multi, Multi-purpose ship. But anyways, guys, again, I could go on forever. If you are still around at this point in the video, I assume you like the material, so please hit that like button, subscribe, tap that bell. We'll catch you on the next one.